And welcome back to Talk of the Town. With me now is an old friend of mine, old and new friend, Jonathan Haupt. He is the executive director of the Pat Conroy Literary Center in downtown Beaufort. Jonathan, good to see you again. I saw you last week. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> good to see you too. And we're talking about the, um, the, Cap, the Pat Conroy uh, camp. Right? Yes, Camp, camp Conroy. Conroy. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be in June. I think it's June uh, 16th through the 26th, two weeks. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, this is your third year, I believe? It is, yes. Uh -huh. and so what is different about this year? What are you, uh, you know, how are you growing it? And um, Well, the very first year we did this, we did it with nine students, and yes. we had a remarkable time, and it taught us so much about how to do it well. So last year we grew it to 30 students. Right. And we had to add to that a uh, number of uh, camp counselors, as we would say, college age and high school age students. Okay. So there's a growing group of, of students who benefit from this, not just the campers who are grades, excuse me, age 8 to 14, right. but also this group of camp counselors as well. Right. And we talked um, a little bit about the importance of scholarships. Not all the students are on scholarship, maybe 50 percent or so. But there That's are right. scholarships available. Yes. Um, but then also to provide the, those scholarships, we need sponsorship. So yeah. if someone wants to sponsor an instructor or a child, how do they do all that? Talk a little bit about sponsorship. Well, this is the wonderful thing that makes the camp possible and, and available to so many students. There are 30 campers who participate each year. And as you say, about half of them are on scholarship, either a full scholarship or a partial scholarship. Mm -hmm. Registration for the camp is $299, covers two weeks of instruction and all sorts of cool things right. that go along with that. Right. So it's, uh, it's not a tremendously large amount, but it can be for some families. So what's made the camp uh, really such a joy for us is that community members step up every year and say, I would like to sponsor a student. And they can make a donation to us, to the Conroy Center. We're a nonprofit, so mm -hmm. it's a tax-deductible charitable gift. They can also this year sponsor some of those camp counselors as well. Right, okay, very good. And uh, to your question about what we're doing that's new this year, since so many of our campers come back year after year, we didn't want it to be exactly the same mm -hmm, experience. Mm -hmm. So we're inviting in a number of guest instructors from all over the place, artists and authors and musicians, who are really going to elevate wow. the experience for everyone. Right. And it's possible for our sponsors to sponsor one of those guest instructors instructors as well. Okay. So um, a company could sponsor? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, or an individual or a or family? Or a family foundation. Or yes, family we've foundation. seen all of those things. And would you have to, um, could we just, could you do just $50 or, I mean, or does it have to be the $299? I mean, it does not, no. Uh, what we found last year is that most people like to give an, a, an amount that sort of translates into something, either a full scholarship or a okay. partial scholarship. But really any amount can be given toward, toward the camp and we've seen that already. Uh, and so that is a way that the community can really support and become involved. Yes. And if they want to par participate, is there like a closing ceremony or? There is. I'm glad you asked about that yeah. too. Yeah. We have one part of the camp that's open to the public, entirely yeah. free to attend. It's the closing ceremony, which will be on June 26 in the afternoon okay. at the Pat Conroy Center. Okay. On that day, the 30 students will be reading from their work and will be showing and exhibiting some of their artwork. So it's really wonderful to see what they've produced in just sh such a short amount of time, too, and how proud they are of it, too, as they should be. And it's so exciting because the students critique each other, they write, they illustrate, and to have the variety of instructors uh, that are authors, but also, you know, writers of their own um, right. uh, stead. So, I mean, it is, it has become, I would say, a signature camp for the country, I would think. Is it unique, Jonathan? It is. We've we modeled it after several other book building camps, but no one else is offering the, the scale that we're offering at this point. And the quality of instruction, as you say, this is something that adults would sign up for if they right. could, uh, but this is a little well, some, something we do for the youngsters. Well, you need to have an adult camp. I no, mean, have you thought about that? We do talk about that every year. <laughs> Can we take on an adult version of Camp Conroy? And maybe maybe it's time we spend a little more time thinking about that. It would be and, a fun thing to do, right. right? Any final thoughts about the camp? Again, it's June the 16th through the 26th. And it's at Beaufort Middle School, right. which was Beaufort High School, and Pat Conroy was a student and a teacher. So it's particularly special for us to be back on that campus since right. it meant so much to Pat. Okay. And I think May 8th is the deadline for anyone that wants to apply for a scholarship. Uh, May, May 29th. Oh, May, May yeah. 29th. We've okay. got a little bit more time for oh, that. Good. And that information is on our website, too, about how to apply for a scholarship. It's both need-based and merit-based. 
need and merit-based. Uh, thank you so much, Jonathan. I know our time goes by so fast, but good to have you back with us to talk about Camp Conroy, which again will be this June. So we'll be right back with Talk of the Town again. Thanks, Jonathan. Thank you, Rob.